Hey guys, today is another viewer request. This comes from Girly Girl XOXO73, I believe. And um, she kept asking me, well, she emailed me, hey, can you make a heart arch? And um, uh, she wanted to do it out of Link Looms or Quick Links. So that's what we're going to make here. We're going to make a heart arch with Quick Links. So, what you're going to need is, uh, obviously, if you can't, you can make your own Quick Links. They don't work as well, they're not as symmetric, but that's the only thing you got to work with. Look at the description area, I show you how to make your own. It's a little bit more time consuming as well, but hey, it's, uh, uh, it's a little bit cheaper. Okay, so um, you need quick links, you're going to need some 11 inch round uh, balloons, I'm using white in this case, some 5 inch round balloons. A balloon weight, but this is the one I made myself, I have a video down there I'll leave, I'll leave as well, you can check out how to make your own balloon weights. Um, and then you'll need some 260s, or you could use, I like using 260s because they're stretchy and they stick together. Uh, it's a little bit better than ribbon or nylon or monofilament, but uh, you could use any one of those four things. Okay, so, first thing we're going to do is make our quad. The way you make the quad is making two duplets. You take, um, you're going to take two five inch balloons, pull them up to about four and a half, four inches. Make sure they're all four the same, and you should stick them together and mix them around, and that's going to be your quad. Then you're going to go ahead and make another quad. This one's going to be a little bit smaller, but it could be the same size as the first one. Not that big a deal. And then obviously you make a big 11-inch quad. That's why we have it here. And that's just, again, just uh, making your two duplets and then putting them together. So once you have that, we're going to straighten it out like I did here. We're going to take our 11-inch quad straight on the table. We're going to take the one that's a little bit bigger. So it's bigger, biggest, bigger, and then the smallest one on top. And I'm just going to lay it just like this. Uh, and the way you're going to do is the one, the quad above is going to nestle in between these two balloons here like this. And then the same thing for this one. We'll straighten it out and I'll have it going here and here just so it all sticks together. Now you could wrap it with some ribbon or nylon, but like I said, I like using this. So I'll just take 260. I'm going to wrap it on the top. And come down both ways, all the way around to the bottom. Okay. Sometimes that can happen. Don't worry, we'll fix it in a second. I just lost it. Where are you? There you are. We're going to tie that together. If you're new, nylon works a little bit better. You can just wrap it around, but hey. So once you have that tie, I'm just going to straighten everything out again. Now, there you go, comes right together. Whoa. Now, once you have that, we're gonna, we want to put the weight in there, and that's going to hold everything in place and keep a nice, solid foundation. So I'm going to put that, I'm going to take that 260 and just tie it to the weight. So let me find that 260 where it's going to go. There you are. I'm just going to tie that in here, like so. bottom there and that's gonna hold it down. Once we have, this is gonna be your base. Once you have your base, we're gonna go ahead and start click, putting quick links together. Be back, one second. Okay, we're back and I just wanna, um, so we made our base here and now you have to get your quick links. You know, you could buy these, I'm gonna put a link in the description area, you can buy them on Amazon, they're relatively cheap. Um, if you're not a balloon, uh, professional balloon maker, don't have your own business, just go to Amazon, you can find most of your stuff there. I put a lot of links to, the, to them. Um, just because they have mostly every one of the balloons and balloon supplies you need. Anyway, um, so you, for this you're going to need 12 uh, quick links or link balloons to make the arch. So I like to make, you're going to make six for one side and six for, other, six for the other. So I went ahead and I connected six balloons together and they all look like this before. So you just tie from end to end. And then you're going to go ahead and start adding quads. Okay, so you would take your quad, just how I made the base. You're going to go ahead and open it up and, and just twist it. That's it. All I did was twist this one and this one. All right. Now, when you make these, if I don't know if you watched my balloon arch tutorial, you can check it out. It's just a quick link um, a tutorial on how to make a simple balloon arch, table balloon arch. You are not going to be structurally sound unless you keep twisting and twisting and twisting these together. You can do these two a whole bunch of times, then come over here, do these a bunch of times in here until it gets really tight and packed together, and that's what's going to help you hold it. Also, if you have helium on hand, and 
All you got to do is the base of the arch, the arch is going to look like something like this. Uh, our heart, rather. It's going to look something like that. Okay? This is the one side of the heart. If you fill up this one and this one full of helium, it's going to be a lot more uh, stable and a lot easier to put together. I did not use the helium for this one, just to show you that it can be done without helium. But if you do, it's going to save you a little bit of time and a little bit of headache. Okay? So, once you connect the leashes together, like we said, we're going to put a quad, 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 then on your one, two, three, four, on your fourth one, the top of your fourth one, right here, you're going to do a, a trot. So it's only going to be three balloons. All right, and that's going to be able to make it give the arch. So we do quad, 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 try, then a quad here, okay? Then once we get to here, once we add them together, it's going to go try. I'll, I'll explain to you in a second. But okay, so that's what you're going to do for each one. You're going to do a set of these, okay? So you're going to have six balloons. The first one, two, three will be quads. The fourth one is going to be a try, and then you're going to go back to a quad. Make two sets of these. And then uh, I'll see you in a second. All right, so I'm going ahead and this is my second um, second column here, or second sh chain or string, you want to call it. And I'm taking my tri, which is just three balloons. Instead of a duplet, it's just three balloons tied together. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in here. The reason why we're doing that is once you get the three in there, if you want to bend it, so say if I wanted to bend it down this way, all I do is start bending these balloons. And then you're going to go ahead and maybe be able to make a bend. And you can make a uh, link balloon square this way. You can make a, uh, a diagonal. But that's what helps us arch, I mean, bend it and have good different directions is using a tri, uh, a tri balloon here. Okay? Once we, uh, we're going to connect these two together, and then the middle one is the connection is also going to be a tri. Okay, so we got both of them set up, and now we're going to attach them to the, uh, to the base. So... This is where my, all right, let me start with one. Remember, the, the bottom of it is where you have your quad and your quad and your quad, all right? So we're just going to take that link alone, and we're going to go ahead and oops, hold it here. We're going to take the bottom of our other arch, which is the other side here. Not arch. Why do I say arch? Your other, other chain link, okay? Now, we're going to tie them together. Then we're going to go ahead and stretch it down here and wrap your, your two quad, the top of your uh, quad here, your two balloons around that one, and then do the same thing for the other side. And that's going to So you can actually see me do the top part. All right, hopefully I'm in view here. So we just attached the bottom. Now we're going to go ahead and take your top here. And if you see here, I have quad, 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 tri, quad. And we're going to try right here. So same thing for the exact other side. But right now I'm just going to go ahead and attach these together. Regular knot. And now I'm going to go ahead and attach my, uh, my try to that. So it's not going to be that sturdy yet. Should be done. So let me go ahead and get a piece of monofilament. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take my mono and tie it around here. To the top. Now this is, a, I'm using heavy strength mono, it's really for outdoor arches. You could use really, you should be using thinner, thinner, thinner type mono. So it's going to be less likely to be seen. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and bring it down to make my heart shape. I think right about there should be nice. I'm going to wrap that around. I'll take a look in the camera here for you guys. There you go. Beautiful. Um, there's the arch now. A uh, quick thing. This is better to go against the wall because right now if I pull it away, it's leaning a little bit against the wall, so that's probably where you're going to want to keep it. If you want to put it on a table, I was mentioning, you could fill a one, two, three, four, fill those with helium, and that's really going to keep it lifted, lifting it up. Otherwise, you're going to have to make everything super tight, and it, and it should stay. Uh, let me just see how, how I did here. Uh, if I pull it away from the wall, how are we going to go? Yeah, it's still going to be a little bit off balance here. Um, so, basically, this is going to be for a good for against the wall, or, like I said, you fill this one, this one, those four up with the helium, and you get to go. All right, guys, I hope you like it. Um, stay subscribed if I liked it. I mean, if I liked it, stay subscribed if you like it. Um, I got a whole bunch of other stuff coming on. If you want me to do something else, this is, uh, this is a viewer request. So let me know what your requests are. I'll get them done in a timely fashion. And uh, have a good one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.